Namaste. It's Jackie. We're going to do a little yoga practice together. So take a moment to get yourself set up. We're going to begin our practice today in a seated position. So I have two blankets here folded in half, so it makes a pretty good um, support. You could, um, I recommend that you sit up a little bit on something to sit. It helps us keep our spine long and our low back comfortable. You could also sit on a yoga block if you have that. So that's also a good way to sit. So um, take a moment, put your mat out, close the door of the room that you're in, turn off your phones, give yourself a little time. So we'll be together for about 30 or 40 minutes and you can take a little time for yourself. So as I come to sit, What we want when we're seated is to be able to sit comfortably. I'm going to cross my legs, and if you can sit cross-legged, you want to try to get the knees even with the hips, which is why I've raised my hips up so I'm not sitting this way and my back is rounding. So I can sit tall, my spine is long, and it's pretty comfortable. So get what you need so you can sit comfortably. If sitting cross-legged is not for you, it is not comfortable, it hurts, hurts your back or you start to feel that you're rounding your back a lot, you can do the movements we're going to do in seated like this. So you can have your knees bent. That's fine too. But sit either way you like. You can begin to rock around it a little bit in your seat. Notice how you're feeling. Just beginning to bring your attention to your body, to start to check in, to start to be aware of how you feel. A little rocking, and then you can come to the center and try to sit up nice and tall. So stacking the shoulders up over your hips, lifting the chest, and letting the shoulders drop down away from the ears so we're not rounding forward and we're not uh, letting the shoulders creep up. So just letting the hands rest comfortably on your legs. You might just notice the weight of your hands and just be aware of where you're touching the floor with the parts of your body as you sit. Taking a few breaths that are a little bit deeper, a little bit slower, begin to breathe through your nose, and as you inhale, try to lift up a little bit. And exhale, let, again, the shoulders relax down, the weight of the hands resting on the lap, and take two or three more breaths. And if you're comfortable, let your eyes close. So you could take a nice inhale, and as you exhale, soften or close your eyes. Just taking a moment to begin to deepen the breath so that the inhales are a little deeper and the exhales are a little longer. Breathing in and out through the nose. So letting go of your day, turning away from all the concerns and to-dos so you can have a little bit of time for yourself here to care for your body, to nurture your mind and spirit. So you can blink your eyes open if you had them closed, and we're going to do some movement with our arms, and we're going to start to coordinate breathing and movement together. So if you let your arms come down on your in-breath, lift the arms out to the side and up toward the ceiling, and also lift your eyes. And as you exhale down, as the arms lower down, soften your eyes down. You might be able to see your fingers and your peripheral vision. And do that a couple of times. Nice, big, slow breath. Take the whole inhale to lift your arms up. And then a nice, slow exhale. Soften your eyes down. The whole exhale to lower your arms down. So we're trying to cultivate slow movement and slow breath. And down on the exhale. So now this time we're going to inhale the arms just halfway up, shoulder height. You can have the palms facing down. And on the exhale, turn to one side. Let the opposite hand touch your leg. I'm turning right. I'm going to let my right hand touch the what I'm sitting on, the blankets back there. And then inhale back to the center. Lift both arms out to the sides. And then turn the other way. So opposite hand to your knee and the other hand behind your back. You can try to look over your shoulder. So inhale, center. Lift up. Lift your chest, lift your shoulders. Exhale to the side, peeking over your shoulder, turning your neck, turning your eyes. Inhale, center, lifting the arms. And exhale to the side. Inhale, center. And on the exhale, lower your arms and your eyes down. And then this inhale, lift your arms all the way up toward the ceiling. And on the exhale, we're going to keep the right arm up in the air. Let the left hand 
come over and touch the floor. And we're going to stay in this side bend a little bit. So inhale, reach the arm up, look up. Exhale, just soften over. You might even look down toward the floor or bend the elbow of the arm in the air. Inhale, reach a little, look up, open up the right side. Exhale, softening over. One more. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, softening over, looking down. This inhale, come all the way up to the center, and you can just let that arm come down by your side. Take a moment to notice the two sides of your body after that. And then inhale both arms up over your head. And this time we're going to let the right arm come down to the floor, left arm over the head. So inhale, reach a little, look up. Exhale, let your head turn down. Maybe you melt over just a little bit further. Inhale, reach. Peeking up at the ceiling if it's okay for your neck. And then exhale, looking down. One more reaching inhale. And exhale, eyes down. And again, inhale up to the center. Let the arms come down. Take a moment to notice the two sides of the body and how you feel. Okay, so for the next part, we're going to come on to hands and knees. So take a moment to stretch your legs out, especially if you were sitting cross-legged. You can just move your knees and ankles. And then we're going to come on to hands and knees. So for this part, you might use one of the a blanket to pad your knees. I'm always a fan of padding the knees when we come into this position. So get what you need. And we're going to come into the tabletop position. So we'll have our hips over the knees, and the hands under the shoulders. And again, we're going to coordinate our movement with our breathing. So inhale in place and lift your chest and your eyes. As you exhale, tuck the belly in so this low back starts to round. Fold back to child's pose, letting your elbows touch, your hips sink back toward your feet. And then inhale, glide back up to all fours, lift your chest and your eyes. And then exhale back again child's pose. We're stretching out the back, which may feel nice after we a little bit of sitting. Inhale, back up. And again, exhale, back to child's pose. Inhale, come up and lift your right leg. And on the exhale, we're going to put the toes of that foot down and just push back through the heel. We're going to just do some little bit of movement to wake up the right hip. So inhale, lift your leg, not too much. Exhale, bend your knee. Inhale, with the knee bent, lift your foot up a little bit. You might lift the chest. And on your exhale, tuck that knee into your chest, round the back, bent knee, tucks. And then inhale, bent knee, lifts, lift the chest. Do that again. Exhale, tuck the bent knee towards your chest. Inhale, lift the leg back up. Keeping the knee bent. And one more time. Exhale, tuck. Inhale, lift. And from here, just make some circles from that hip. So keeping both arms nice and steady, let that knee make some circles and just see what you feel in your right hip. Go a few times in one direction and then maybe two or three times in the other direction. See what you notice. And then go ahead and lower that knee down on an exhale, Fold back to child's pose. See what you notice on the two sides. One inhale, back up to tabletop. One slow exhale, folding back to child's pose. And then rise up and take your left leg back. And we'll put the toes of that foot down on the floor. Push back, get that little stretch in the back of the leg. And then inhale, lift the foot and your chest. Exhale, bend the knee, pull your belly in. Inhale, lift that foot while the knee is bent. See what you feel, left hip. Exhale, tuck the knee towards your chest. And again, we're going to keep the knee bent. So inhale, lift up. You can flex the foot. You can lift your eyes. Exhale, navel draws in as you tuck. Inhale, lift. One more. Exhale, tuck. Inhale, lift, and then keeping both arms nice and steady, a few circles from that left hip. So make that, let that knee take some circles. 
as big as you can. Go both directions and notice if you're dropping your head. So don't drop your head. And then you can put that knee down, fold back on your exhale to child's pose, and inhale back up to all fours, lift your chest. One more exhale back to child's pose. And inhale up. And then we're going to stand up on our knees, still kind of opening up the hip area. Also going to open up our shoulders a little bit. So when you're standing on your knees, you might have the feet flat. You might prefer to tuck the toes under. It's fine either way. We're going to, on the inhale, let the arms lift up over our head. And let your eyes lift, and you may think about the hips pushing forward gently. And then exhale, let the eyes float down as the hands go down. Hug your belly in. Do that again. Inhale the arms up. Exhale down. Now this time we're going to add a little bow like the child's pose. So on the inhale, arms float up. And on the exhale, we're going to sweep the hands to the low back. Let the hips sink back and the upper body bow down. So you might go down just a little bit or you might let your forehead come all the way down to the floor. And as you inhale, lift the chest, sweep the arms out to the side and up. And again, exhale your hands behind your back. If you can remember the way you stacked up your hands, stack them up the opposite way. And then sweep your arms out, lift, inhale. Let's do that once more. Exhale. Waking up the shoulders and hips. Inhale all the way up. And this exhale, you can just bring your arms down. Take a moment to circle your shoulders, even turning the head from side to side. And then place your hands back down on the mat. Spread the fingers wide. We're going to push up to the downward facing dog position now. So if you tuck your toes under on an exhale, pull your belly in and push up to dog pose. And take a few breaths as you come into the pose with your knees soft. So just holding with the knees bent a little bit, pushing down through the hands, lifting up through the hips. And then maybe you kind of walk the legs out, letting one heel reach toward the floor. It doesn't matter if the heels touch. Just go where you can, see what you notice. You can watch your cats and dogs and you notice how many times a day they do these little stretches. Just do what they do and you'll probably be happier. And then we're going to go up and down between down dog and tabletop position a couple times. So inhale to your knees as smoothly as you can and lift your chest and your eyes. Hug your belly in and exhale to your dog pose again. And that again. Inhale to your knees, touching down maybe right at the same time. Exhale, push back up nice and slow. Inhale to your knees and pause. Come down onto your elbows. This is a puppy pose. Take a moment to move your wrists. You could circle them or just massage the wrists. And you can let your hips sway, or as we might say, wag your tail. So in this position, there's a little bit of an arch in the low back. If you like that, if it's kind of nice for you, you can take your puppy paws out further in front of you and increase that stretch in your back. Also, increase the stretch in your shoulders. So this may not be great for your shoulders. You may be better on your elbows. So see what you like. Either way, you can swish or wag your tail. And then push back to your hands. So we did the downward-facing dog pose. Now we're going to do the upward-facing dog pose. So it's going to keep increasing that curve in our back. So please exhale, round back to child's pose. And on the inhale, we're going to come up to tabletop and shift the hips forward. Sometimes it's helpful to move the hands forward a little bit. Let the elbows bend a little bit. Lift your chest, lift your eyes. And then exhale back all the way to child's pose. In this version of upward dog, we're keeping the knees on the floor. So inhale. Bending the elbows, letting the chest and eyes lift, and exhale, coming back. 
So noticing how that feels in your spine. Inhale to tabletop, and we're going to put these movements together in a little sequence. So we're going to do tabletop to down dog and then tabletop to upward dog. So we're going to move slowly. We're going to move with our breath. So inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, child's pose. So fold back. Inhale to tabletop. And then exhale, tuck your toes under, push up to downward dog, nice and slow. Okay, so that's the first part. Now inhale to your knees, lift your chest, come down softly. Exhale to child's pose again. Let your hands walk forward a little bit. And on your inhale, come up to your upward facing dog. So let your hips shift forward, elbows bend a little, chest, eyes lifting. Exhale back to child's pose. So we'll do that sequence a couple more. So inhale, tabletop. Exhale, downward dog. Slow breaths. Inhale, down to the knees. Can they touch right at the same time? Exhale to child's pose, letting the elbows touch. Walk your hands forward a bit. Inhale, up to upward dog. Exhale, all the way back to child's pose. We'll do the sequence one more time. So inhale, tabletop. You can slide your hands under your shoulders. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, child's pose, walking the hands forward a little bit. Inhale, upward facing dog. Let your hips shift forward. Lift your chest. Lift your eyes. Exhale, back to child's pose. And we're going to stay in child's pose. So for this pose, we want to be as comfortable as possible. So for some people, this is quite comfortable. You can just put your head down on the floor. For some people, it's not so comfortable. So walking the knees wider, stacking up your hands for support under the head, being on the elbows rather than letting your head drop down. Just see what's helpful for you. And take a breath. And then please come up on an inhale. Push yourself all the way up to standing on your feet. You can push through downward dog if you like. If you had some padding under your knees, you can just slide that off to the side. Come up, we'll swing a little bit. So you can kind of shake off the shoulders, shake the hands. And stepping the feet about shoulder width apart, let your body swing. So the arms are going to flop around and tap your back. Head can turn, shoulders can turn. This is called empty coat sleeves. Super um, soothing movement. Should be kind of nice. Should feel kind of nice. All right, and then pause. Standing nice and tall. So if you remember how we were seated at the beginning and we were trying to lift up and lengthen the spine, now you can notice how that feels as you're standing on your feet. How do you feel standing on your feet? So we're going to do a movement from here with the feet wide. So if you can please step your feet out, um, we'll say a wide distance apart. We like to say maybe one leg's distance apart. If that's a little too much for you, you can have a little less. Please turn the right foot out, so points to the short edge of the mat, and the left toes can turn in just a little bit. We're going to come into the warrior two position. In this position, the right knee bends. You want it to be pretty much over your heel on the bend. And on the exhale, we'll straighten that leg and touch. You can touch the belly, get that hugging in sense in the abdomen. So inhale here, let the arms float up to the height of your shoulders as you bend the knee. Exhale, let the leg extend and then touch your belly again. So do that again, bend the knee. You might look over your right fingertips. And then exhale, coming back out of the pose. And do that again. Inhale into the pose, lengthening out through the arms, looking right if it's okay for your neck. Exhale back in. The next one we're going to stay in the pose for a moment. So bend the knee, inhale. Hold on the exhale. Lengthen on the inhale. And then on the exhale, we're going to let the right hand come over to that leg. You can lean over a little bit. The other hand can just touch your hip for now. You could come onto your elbow if that's comfortable for you. 
And then inhale, bend the right knee just a little bit more. Exhale, unbend it. It's fine to be up here. That's okay, too. So inhale, bend it a little bit. Exhale, unbend it. And then we're going to add something with this uh, left arm. So inhale, bend your knee, lift your arm up over toward the ceiling. On the exhale, as you unbend the right knee a little bit, take your left arm over your head. You might even look up. And then inhale, bend the knee again and lift your arm. And we'll do that a couple more. So unbend the knee a little bit, arm over your head, pull your belly in. You might look up at the ceiling here. Inhale, arm lifts, knee bends. One more. Unbend the knee a little bit. Arm over. And inhale, arm back up. Now hold the bend in your knee, exhale, belly in, and then inhale back into the pose. And hold, maybe looking over your right fingertips. As you get to the next exhale, go ahead and lower your arms down. You can extend that leg, turn the feet forward. You might move your hips a little bit, move your shoulders, see how you feel. It may feel a little different on the two sides. We're going to do a forward fold with the legs wide before we do that pose to the other side. So it's a little bit like downward dog with the legs wide. So just bend your knees. You can just let your hands find the floor. You could use a block here under the hands and just kind of woggle your hips. If it's comfortable to walk your hands forward, you can do like a wide leg downward dog. Like the other downward dog, you may find it nice to bend the knees a little bit or to bend and straighten opposite legs. Keep breathing. And then from wherever you are, walk your hands under your shoulders. Please look up. Exhale, bend both knees and just walk your hands up to the legs and then come up with a nice long spine. So we'll do our warrior pose to the other side. You can uh, decide if the distance between your legs still feels about right. We'll turn the left foot out 90 degrees, the back foot in just a little. And we're trying to keep the shoulders open, the chest open. Do a little test bend in your left knee. Make sure that knee's pretty much over your heel on that bend. On the exhale, as the leg straightens, you can touch your belly. Get that hugging in feeling. And here we'll do the movement a few times. So inhale, bend the knees. Take your arms out to the sides. And exhale, straighten the leg. Touch your belly like you're zipping up the zipper on something a little snug. Inhale. Exhale. Smooth breath. Inhale. Bend the knee, lengthen the arms. Exhale. So the next one we're going to hold the bend in the knee and do that side bending movement. So take the inhale coming into the pose. Just stay on your exhale. Let your shoulders get a little soft. Might lengthen your arms or lift your chest a little on the inhale. And then we're going to let the left hand come over to that leg. Your right hand can just come to your hip. So you are welcome to just stay on your hand, only a little side bend, or you can try to come down onto your elbow. And then open up your chest. Inhale, bend your left knee just a little bit more, the bent knee. We're going to go a little deeper. And on the exhale, unbend it a little bit. Remember, hugging in the belly. Inhale, this time as you bend the knee, take the, the right arm up to the sky. And on the exhale, as you unbend that knee, just let that raised arm go over your head. Maybe look up. And then inhale, bend the knee, take your arm back up. Exhale, let the leg unbend, take the arm over your head. You don't have to probably navigate the plants like I do. So inhale, bend your knee, arm up. One more time, belly in, exhale, arm over your head. Inhale, bend the knee, take your arm back up, open the chest. Hold in place on the exhale, pull your belly in, and then inhale back into the pose. So we're letting that left knee stay bent. Hold, exhale. One more inhale. And then let your arms come down. You can straighten the leg, turn the feet forward, maybe a little wiggle. And then we're going to do that forward fold downward dog one more time. So let the knees bend, go forward. And again, you could put like a block or something, a pillow under your hand and just kind of pedal out your legs. 
Maybe that feels good after that pose. Or you can walk your hands out in front of you, have a little bend in your knees. Try to not uh, shift your hips forward. Try to keep the hips drawing back. The hips stay over the heels. Then breathe. You could bend one knee at a time. You could let your head hang down. See what feels good. And then to uh, for the next part, we're going to come back down onto the floor. So you may be able to just get down onto the floor from here. That would be fine, or sit down however you like. And we're going to lie down on our back. So go ahead and come onto your back. And once you get onto your back, take a moment to get everything situated and draw your knees into your chest. And we're going to massage the low back a little bit by rocking, if that feels good. Or you could circle your knees. So sometimes I'll put my hands on the kneecaps and just stir them around. See how that feels for you. You can go both ways if you're circling. Whatever feels nice for your back. Some movement in the ankles can also feel quite nice. See how that feels. Maybe even shaking the feet. Just shake it off. And then uh, we're going to lengthen the legs toward the ceiling. So as you inhale the next time, just extend the legs up, push the heels up, spread your toes. Exhale, bend the knees. And again, just lengthen your legs up toward the ceiling. Exhale, bend the knees. And one more time, lengthen the legs up. Exhale, bend the knees. And then lower your feet to the floor. And we're going to do a little twist. This one's called the windshield wiper twist. So if you bring your feet uh, pretty wide, so if you're on a yoga mat to the edges of your mat, if you have long legs, if you're pretty tall, wider feet can be helpful here. So their feet are wider than your hips. And on the exhale, both knees are just going to go to one side. Pay a lot of attention to your hips and low back. On the inhale, the knees are going to come up. On the exhale, go to the other side. So if you find that that is uncomfortable, not great for your hip, you have issues in your hips or your uh, SI joints, you might keep the movement very small. Go just a few inches. Inhale back up. Or you can go like way over to the side if you like. This is a nice stretch for the front of the leg and the front of the hip if your you know, joints can handle it. You can keep moving side to side, especially if you're working with a smaller movement, or you can go to one side and hold the pose. So the, the let's see, my knees are to the left right now, and I'm holding. And so when the knees are to the left, you're opening up, stretching the right side. So you may enjoy stretching the right arm out to the side or even up over your head. And then another way you can enhance the stretch is to place the opposite ankle. So in this case, it'll be my left ankle on top of the right thigh. So this is an interesting position. For some people it's, it's nice, and for many people it's not nice. So if you, feel it, if you feel discomfort in your knee joint, your hip joint, or in your low back here, probably better to keep that foot on the floor. So if you're holding, go ahead and release your foot down and your arm down if you lifted it, and bring your knees back to the center. Take a moment to even things up, and then if you like, you can go to the other side and hold. And if you're just still going side to side, that's okay too. So then I'm going to the right, so I'm going to take my left arm up, and then I'll see how it feels. I'm putting my right ankle on top of the leg. For me, it's good about half of the time. Some days it feels okay and other days not so good. <sighs> Try some longer exhales here. And then if you did, again, hold that side. Go ahead and release your foot down and your arm down and draw the knees back up. And once your knees are up, you can try to line up your hips and shoulders again, and then please walk your feet in so they're even with your hip joints. And one more uh, movement 
nice to do something symmetrical after the twists, especially for the hips. So if you bring your hands, palms down by your sides, we're going to do the bridge pose. A few gentle, slow rounds. So let your eyes be uh, looking toward the ceiling so you're not turning your neck. And on your next inhale, lift your hips up toward the ceiling. Just let your hips rise. On the exhale, we're going to lower back down, and I'd like you to do this a little slower. So do go up and down about two or three more times, depending on how fast you're breathing, and see if you can let the exhales be very controlled and very slow. Breathing through the nose. So one or two more times, depending on how fast you're going. And then nice, slow exhale to come down. So the next time you're down, go ahead and bring your knees back to the chest and massage your back a little bit. And then we're going to uh, position, we're going to try to let the body come to rest. We're going to move into Shavasana, the relaxation pose. So beginning with your knees bent, just let the legs rest comfortably. For some people, having the feet a little wider and the knees touching is quite helpful, but see what's good for you. You may have your knees apart, and then you can rest your hands on your belly. Take a moment to let your eyes just glance around the space that you're in. And then either choose one spot to focus your eyes or close your eyes. And begin to let go of any effort now to control your breath. And notice any places where you could get a little more relaxed, comfortable, your jaws, your shoulders, your hips. And then as we settle in for the rest of our relaxation, you might um, keep your knees bent or you might stretch the legs out onto the floor. So if you choose to stretch your legs out flat, you can notice how that feels compared to how it felt when your knees were bent. So for some people, lying flat is just not that comfortable. And you may be better, happier having your knees bent, and that's fine too. And you can just stretch your arms out, palms up. A couple of breaths with a sigh. A big inhale. A nice releasing sigh. Please give yourself permission to let your body rest. Nothing to do. You don't even have to try to breathe. Just let your body breathe on its own. Say a closing message, a closing prayer. May you be safe. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you live with ease. May we all be safe. May we all be happy. May we all be healthy. May we live with ease. May we live in peace. So I strongly encourage you to stay on your mat, to stay in this relaxed position for another five minutes, even ten minutes. If it's a little challenging for you to stay, to lie still, try counting 12 breaths. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Namaste.